Well, it's really quite a discovery. Uh, there are only two charnel chapels that we know of um, in uh, England. So when I came here, it was a great surprise to me to hear about it. It was discovered by accident about 1700. Um, someone put their foot for the floor and uh, un undercovered this brand new world. It's quite small, it's only half or four and a half metres in width by nine metres in length. It's completely underground and you have to access it via a very narrow tunnel. It's dating to between the mid 1200s to the mid 1300s and inside there are the remains of between 1,500 and 3,000 people. The bones are currently arranged into two central stacks in the middle of the room. They're kind of surrounded by wooden crates and then we have lots of crania which are on shelves against the north and south walls. They were probably deliberately put there during the medieval period after the crypt had been built specifically to house the bones. It was a place that was designed for people to enter and people to come in and perhaps pray to the bones, have their confession heard and think about the people, think about your own mortality. A bit like when people today would visit a grave, except that in the medieval period they kind of took it one more step and you physically were surrounding yourself with, the, with your own mortality. We've been coming down and holding interviews with um, the local community, getting them to come forward with their ideas and opinions and stories. So we've collated all of those interviews and they will be on our website for people to watch and to comment on and to then come forward if they have any more information. This is going to be used as an example for undergraduate archaeology students of how to not just conduct a research project, but how to conduct it properly to engage with the community, um, to make sure that we're not just coming in doing research and leaving again. We're coming in doing research with the community and then showing them what we've done, getting their responses to it. We've certainly, at the church here, been very glad to have the partnership with the University of Sheffield and to welcome uh, students here quite regularly. There's a lot of interest here and I'm hoping the partnership will very much grow and continue.